Today is about a celebration of us opening um, the Ark, which is Noah's Ark Children's Hospice. Um, it's a hospice that's been designed for uh, children and families and actually designed by them. And so today is really, really, uh, it's a brilliant day because we've got families up here, we've got all those who've supported us in the community. Tottenham are up here who supported us massively um, and it's about celebrating this building which will make a huge huge difference to so many children and so many families. Can I thank Spurs for having the Noah's Ark Children's Hospice as your official charity uh, partner. Spurs have made an amazing contribution to this uh, hospice, not content with having arguably the world's best football stadium and the world's best training facility. They've also made sure we've arguably the world's best hospice here in North London. Thank you so much. I think today uh, it's a great day for this uh, hospice opening. Hopefully uh, it will give uh, positive energy uh, to the children and, um, and to their parents, to their families. Um, yeah, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's an amazing area and um, I think as a Spurs player and to represent the club, the team, um, we are very proud to be part of uh, this opening. Oh, it's been quite inspirational really, like the amazing people that work here, the volunteers and how it's all come together through the kindness of people and volunteers and the hard work of the people that work here. It's such a good, um, good hospice for the children, there's nothing like it around. It's on our doorstep so I think it's only right that we do support such a fantastic place. We've been supported in many ways really since 2008. Um, Initially with a play specialist who used to come and visit us on a weekly basis, which was lovely for the children. When we had Ben as well, it was very difficult. It's, it's difficult enough with, with one child in a wheelchair, but then when you, when you have two, um, logistics are, can become a bit of a nightmare. And so they were very supportive um, at, at those times. And, um, and that continues for Sophie. I mean, you know, we've, we've lost Ben now. Um, and and um, you know when when we when we spoke about things being open the, the art being open in time for Sophie it was it, it's just really quite emotional now to see that to see that it is and just lovely that she'll have that bit of freedom that that Ben wasn't afforded really. <laughs>